Tobago House of Assembly Minority Councillor Dr. Faith B. Israel has broken her silence on statements by Secretary of Health, Wellness and Family Development Dr. Agatha Carrington. During last Thursday's THA plenary sitting, Dr. Carrington accused public uproar, caused pro public uproar rather, when she attacked Dr. Israel on her perceived inability to have children. As Patricia Nicholson tells us, Dr. Israel says she is yet to receive an apology from Dr. Carrington. You, they, you're so bitter that you can't sleep. And if you want to govern, you know, try to sleep now. <laughs> try to be less bitter. Don't be doing what you're doing. Because it is not going to, and if you're aspiring to having a family, so you will get none. Because if you're bitter like that now, nobody will make you sweet. Far more to make you, make you a parent. Part of the statement made by Health Secretary Dr. Agatha Carrington in the Tobago House of Assembly Chamber last Thursday, which has left a sour taste in the mouths of many, some even calling on her to step down. Minority Councillor Dr. Faith B. Israel says she's hurt by what was said. I would like to say, though, that she did not just hurt me. In fact, I spent most of the weekend chatting with individuals, chatting with men, chatting with women, chatting with families who said that they were most hurt by her comments. Dr. Israel says she did not receive a personal apology from the health secretary. I would like it stated uncategorically that no one has reached out to me personally. I heard about the apology the same way the rest of Tobago heard about the apology on the media. And if that apology were really a sincere one, they would have reached out to me individually, spoken with me individually, and then reached out to the rest of Tobago. Meantime, minority member Farley Augustine made another call for the health secretary to step down or be fired. He said she has breached confidentiality clauses and is unfit for office. We are strengthening our call that Agatha must go. She is not fit to manage a division that is in charge of health because she has breached every code of ethic when it comes to the delivery of health. And she being an educator in the field of health should be very much aware of what those ethical requirements are. Dr. Carrington apologized via a media release for her statements and said she is ready to move on from this matter. I'm Patricia Nicholson for C News.